box and whisker plot. A box and whisker plot is another way to graph a data distribution. A box and whisker plot helps you see where data is concentrated and it helps determine if the extreme values are outliers. Let's take some examples. Example 1. Hamdan received the following scores out of 100 in the academic year 2018-2019. Can you help Hamdan to draw a box and whisker plot for his scores? In order to draw a box and whisker plot, we need to find the five number summary measurements and to find the outliers. In a previous video, we helped Hamdan to find Q1, Q3, and the outliers. If you want to watch these videos, please see the links below. Now let's find the minimum, Q2, and the maximum. As you can notice, the dataset values are ordered from smallest to largest. So the minimum is 30 and the maximum is 100. So we can write 30 for minimum and 100 for maximum. Now let's find Q2. As you know, Q2 is the median. As you can notice, we have 10 values in this data set. So we can write n is 10. So the median equals to the value that is between the fifth and the sixth value. Or we can find the median by crossing the same number of values from each side of my ordered data set in order to reach the midpoint. So we can do this. We have two values in the middle. So we can say median equals Q2 equals 84 plus 85 divided by 2 equals 84.5. So this is my median. So let's write Q2 is 84.5. So we need to help Hamdan to draw a box and whisker plot for his scores to help him visualize his scores distribution. Now we are ready to draw the box and whisker plot. We need to create a number line where the lowest score is 30 and the highest score is 100. So let's start by 30 and go by 10 high up to 100. Now let's plot Q1, Q2 and Q3. Q1 is 82.25, Q2 is 84.5 and Q3 is 88.5. We need to draw the box. The box contains three vertical parallel lines and two horizontal parallel lines. Let's start with the vertical line first. We draw three vertical parallel lines above each of the Q1, Q2, Q3 values on the number line. Now we draw the two horizontal parallel lines to close the box. As we can see from the table, the minimum is 30 and the maximum is 100. And we mentioned before, the outliers here are 30 and 100. We draw the outliers using dots or x signs or asterisks. We draw one above number 30 and another one above number 100 on the number line. Now we want to draw the left hand and the right hand whiskers. The left hand whisker starts at Q1 and the right hand whisker starts at Q3. We need to know where each whisker ends. To do that, we need to go back to the ordered data set and cross out the outliers. As we mentioned before, 30 and 100 are my outliers, so we need to cross them out. Now, the smallest 
value is 80 and the largest value is 90. Now let's plot 80 and 90 on the number line. We can draw the left hand whisker that starts at Q1 and ends at 80 and the right hand whisker that starts at Q3 and ends at 90. Now let's solve example 2. The scores of 15 students in a math test ordered from smallest to largest. Draw a box and whisker plot for these scores. In order to do that, we need the five number summary measurements and we need to find the outliers. In a previous video, we found the five number summary measurements. If you want to watch this video again, please see the link below. We need now to check for the outliers. And in order to do that, we need to find the values of the lower and the upper fences. So the lower fence formula is Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR. And the upper fence formula is Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. As we can notice, we need to find the value of IQR first. And the formula for IQR is IQR equals Q3 minus Q1. So Q3 here equals 95 and Q1 equals 80. So we can say IQR equals 95 minus 80. The answer is 15. Now let's go back and find the value of the lower and the upper fences. So we can write here lower fence is 80 minus 1.5 times 15. The answer is 57.5. And for the upper fence, we can say upper fence is 95 plus 1.5 times 15. And the answer is 117.5. We need to go back now to the ordered data set and place the value of the lower fence and the value of the upper fence with the data set values. So the lower fence should be here. Because the value of the lower fence is 57.5. And the upper fence value is 117.5. So the upper fence value should be here. Now, as we know that the outlayer is any value that is outside the fences, which means we don't have any value that is smaller than the value of the lower fence. And we don't have any value that is greater than the value of the upper fence. So we can say that this data set has no outlayers. So we can write here none. Now we are ready to draw the box and whisker plot. First of all, we create the number line. As we can notice that the lowest score is 70 and the highest score is 98. So we can start at 70 and go by 10 high up to 100. Now let's plot Q1, Q2, Q3 values on the number line. Q1 is 80, Q2 is 88, and Q3 is 95. The box consists of three vertical parallel lines and two horizontal parallel lines. Let's draw the vertical lines first. We draw three vertical parallel lines above each of the Q1, Q2, Q3 values on the number line. Now we draw two 
horizontal parallel lines to close the box. Now we plot the minimum and the maximum on the number line. Let's draw the left hand whisker and the right hand whisker. The left hand whisker starts at 80 which is Q1. And the right hand whisker starts at 95 which is Q3. Now we need to know where each whisker ends. As we can see, there are no outlayers in this dataset. So the left hand whisker starts at 80 and ends at 70, which means starts at Q1 and ends at the minimum. And the right hand whisker starts at 95 and ends at 89, which means starts at Q3 and ends at the maximum.